Very Sunsplash, Very Sherwood Sunsplash, siamo qui con Scaramucci, Marco San Giuliano, maestre e gentilissimo ci ha concesso l'intervista e volevamo subito iniziare con il chiedergli eh, di parlarci del tuo sound system tedesco quando eri in Germania. Well, the sound system in Germany, the bus sound, is not just me, it's a family, you know, it's like since 30 years, me and Sebastian and Mel, foundation, I would say members of the sound, but we also had a lot of DJs and selectors over the years, so it's a big family and a big fan base, and we are just loving the music, investing what we have in the plates. Quali sono i tuoi rapporti con, con l'Italia? Well, you know, we love Italy, you know, so I know who will me are and I'm happy. Sometimes it's kind of funny the way we think, but, you know, I'm happy with the people I'm working with. I love Italy, I love the Italian vibes, I love the Italian people. You know, I'm Italian, Scaramucci, you know. <laughs> okay, e quali saranno le le tue prossime date? Well, the next show will be in Radio Sons Chiari because after today I'm going to take care of some other things and then the first big show after today will be Radio Sons Chiari in France and then I will have another show on the 5th in South of France and then it goes on like that on the 6th I'm doing this independent thing on the 9th I'm playing again in the same place and I'm playing on the tent in uh, Belgium, Rick and Box. Yeah, there's a lot of shows. The whole month is coming out with some festivals and other shows. And then, then after that, I will be doing uh, Over Jam, I'll be doing Rattle Time. So there's a lot of things I've been playing. And after Rattle Time, I'm doing Mexican tour in the middle of September. So. Per cui il personaggio. Scaramucci sta raccogliendo i frutti di quello che ha seminato. Come se fosse il primo dei frutti. Sì, esatto. Well, I'm happy, I'm doing what I love, so I didn't do it for fruits, but <laughs> to be honest, it's like for me, I've been doing this now for 33 years. It's a long time. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm like a self-made artist. I produce all of my albums myself. I do all of the works in releasing the albums myself. The singles may be produced by different producers, but when it comes to the main part of the work, I get it done myself because nobody's really doing it for me. Oh, well, you know, reggae is a very wide spectrum. It's like, like a tag, same train station. You know, there's train station everywhere, different kinds, different size. And reggae is a big thing. You know, it happens for me, reggae. Because reggae was created through a Jamaican who was trying to do it the American way. And it became rip hop, then it became rap. Yeah. So you have lovers rock, you have the dance song, you have the, the island pop, you have a lot of different things. You have the roots. Yeah. Then you have the, the real foundation reggae stuff that doesn't have to do with the lyrics on it. It's more about the musical fundament who produces it. You can hear every. I know you understand what I mean. So reggae has different stages. Reggae has dub. Reggae has jungle. Reggae has yeah, you, yeah, you understand. Yeah. So I think reggae was always there. It was just like the the real. I would say the legacy of reggae itself, which is the lovers rock, the roots, the spiritual melodies, words and, and sound, was lost for a while on the international market because that was not what being promoted. People was trying to promote the more dancehall, more Sean Paul spectrum, more electronic influence to get to different people. Yeah. If you understand, because the wider you get with the music, the more people you reach. So if you hear Scaramucci doing some electrical rhythms in a dancehall style, I'm just bringing more people to the reggae. But now I'm happy to see, after I told it to them, that the day will come 
when reggae is going to be the main source of the reggae music <laughs> and not dance all or whatever they call it, jump up or you know, and here we are, Return of the Ragamuffin has proved itself to the world. Now we have Chronics and Kibaka and Tanja, you know? Cosa stai preparando in questo periodo? Cosa farai? This year. Talk about training and Okay, there's a lot of stuff in plan. There's a lot of songs should be coming out. But because I'm not in control of all the releases. Because uh, Bizarre has its own release date. I react to their own release dates. I am my own. <laughs> like Love Train is my latest release, which is also at my new label, Rockers Clan, which is also the name of my band. And because the Rockers Clan has put a lot of work into Scaramucci, to be honest. They did great videos. Yeah. They did even the cover of the the love train, they put a lot of work in and I think it's also good to have a sub-label which is also family owned but not just that I am the only one doing everything I am the only one has to look how it's working now it's five people plus there are people who are helping them so like this it's easier and I think it will be a great label in the future i think it in four or five months when we get all this stuff arranged and put together the way it should be, we will also start signing and recording other artists outside of the clans. And I want to say, I almost forget to tell you, I'm doing a new project with uh, Irie Ives, Willie Williams Records and uh, Music Action, more mainstream going straight into the NRJ, you know, you'd say multimedia broadcasting system. Look out for this. Featurings with GOK, featuring with Eugene from uh, from Rio. May God be with you. Jack bless Noir, reggae music forever. We love you. Spread the love. With a smiling face and a positive thought. I hand the night with you all. Skara Yaga Yo!